What's up guys, it's Brandon Jay, and today I have a really cool video for you guys. We are gonna be doing some river treasure hunting down here a little more south of where we normally film. And today is gonna be pretty special because I'm also gonna implement our river boarding adventure into this video as well. You guys have been begging me to add that to the video. So today I'm putting it in for you guys. Basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna search for river treasure. There's a dam about a mile north of the river. It's gonna open up in about an hour, which is going to flood this whole area. The water's gonna rise. I'm not gonna be able to search river treasure anymore. Anymore. At that point, me, Jake, and Tristan are all gonna meet up and uh, we're gonna do some river boarding and uh, surf the wave. It's gonna be a great time. But with that being said, it doesn't really leave me a whole lot of time to come out here and search for river treasure. So I'm gonna come out here. I've got about an hour. Let's see what we can find. Guys, something really cool just happened. When I found this can and I tossed it up, I saw something come out of it. Look what was in this can. This is, this is insane. Look at that little bitty catfish. That's on my fingertip. Check that out. Isn't that crazy? Oh, oh, oh. All right. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm going to get him back in the water. So awesome. All right, bud. Oh. There he goes. No, oh, he's swimming towards my fins. Look at that. He looks so happy. All right, that, that was just cool. That's something that I just happened to see, and I'm really glad I saw it because I tossed the can up here on this like uh, walkway, and I just saw something hop out, and it started flopping. So I was like, what the heck? So I went and looked. Little catfish, super cool. Got him back in the water. He swam away. He's safe. He's fine. And uh, now it's time to go back to the river treasure. Here we go.
All right, so I just got done diving. It was a pretty quick dive, but I still found some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and separate it up. We are going to start off with the finds that have absolutely zero to do with fishing, and then we're gonna pick back up with all the fishing lures and whatnot. Here we go. First up, we got the catfish can. This was the actual can that that catfish was living in. Pretty crazy that little bitty catfish was in here, but I'm sure stranger things have happened. Got two glass bottles. They're filled with, uh, filled with nice, delicious liquids. That's a, that's a, oh, that one's, that one's brown. Okay. All right. I'm done pouring those out. Got some, uh, nice glass bottles here. This one looks like an old school, like Coke bottle. And this one is like, uh, who, who knows? It actually says, one of them said something. Yeah, here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually says return for deposit right there on the bottle. Kind of cool. I have no idea what that actually means. Maybe that was the old school, like bottle. I don't know. Maybe I guess if you turned your glass bottle in, they would give you like a little bit of money for it, like recycling back then. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what that means, return for deposit. I don't know. I feel like it's like an older thing. This is an old bottle. Got a battery. Got some bolt thing. Got this weird green shell. I found this uh, can top tap. Can top this top to this can and we find a lot of trash like this but this one was pretty interesting because of all the color and it uh, does say sardines in there so looks like somebody was using a can of sardines to come out here and go catfishing on the bottom there it says Louisiana hot sauce so not just regular sardines hot sauce sardines I don't really know if catfish like hot sauce or not but uh they love cans if you just leave some cans out I'm sure they'll swim in them yeah yeah I found a truck fire truck I want to assume it's a fire truck it's actually pretty cool though if you check it out it's, uh, it's, it's really nice, it's like some kid's toy, and uh, it has been in the water for a very, very long time. And uh, I think there was like something that went there, that maybe that was like the, uh, I don't know, like the, the fire truck thing where like the ladder goes on there. Either way, pretty cool find. This one's probably my favorite find of the day so far. Last weird item is a bottle cap, but it's not just any bottle cap. On the other side of this bottle cap, it actually says something that I'm gonna show you guys. It's actually really ironic. Right, so it says, oh, can you guys read that? It says, get your hands dirty. I don't know about you, but I guarantee the makers of this bottle cap never thought it would be in dirty River Treasure gloves. Mission accomplished, guys. Mission accomplished. All right, so we got all of the River Treasure finds that have zero to do with fishing out of the way. Now it is time to transition to our fishing River Treasure finds. Let's do it. All right, first up, we have a handful of weights. Literally, I have a whole handful here. Uh, the biggest one is this guy right here. It's um, a couple ounces. Oh, oh, focus. It's like a little bit bigger catfish weight. And the rest of them are just, you know, like small, uh, eh, like a little small half ounce weights and whatnot. It's a good thing to get these lead weights out of the water. They're just really nasty and not good for the environment. Next up, we got this catfish hook right here. It's actually on a giant steel leader. And I found another catfish hook that looks just like that one, but no steel leader on this one. And then I found this thing. This uh, looks like it used to be a rooster tail, except all of like the paint has come off of it, and uh, the little spinner has come off of it, and the hooks have come off of it. So essentially now it's just a piece of lead uh, with a wire going through it. So I think it used to be a little rooster tail. All right, now finally moving on to the baits. We got this little guy right here. This is like a little uh, skipjack grub or a little crappie jig if I could just hold it here that would that would be great e either way there you go just a little uh, crappie jig right there next up we've got this really confusing bait this is like a giant worm but if you zoom into the head right here you can see it has a little crappie jig head on it so have no idea what this person was thinking then of course we've got the traditional little swim jig here we find these all the time surprisingly didn't find any flukes today but found the next best thing which is one of these little swim jigs yeah I just called that a swim jig didn't I it's definitely a swim bait. My bad. My bad. Swim bait. And for my favorite lure of the day, we've got this swim bait here. This is a hard body swim bait. It's a really nice one, actually. It's got that segmented body. This hook back here is missing a hook, but this hook up front actually looks pretty good. It's got a pretty decent little paint job on it. Not a bad lure. All right, and last find of the day, probably is the most usable find, is the... Oh, I thought that was going to stay open. All right, well, that... that it's, it's this anchor right here. It's actually really nice because as you can see, it uh, opens up and it also folds. I, I don't know how to show this properly. Here, here we go. Can we? All right. It's a little bit harder than I was. There it is. There it is. Oh, nope. That's, that's not it. Where is it? Okay. It, it folds up for easy storage. But this is a kayak anchor and 
it has zero rust on it and I'm pretty sure this is just uh I don't know it looks it looks really new we found a couple of these before and normally they're all rusted up and really beat up but uh, this one looks really really new so if you're watching this and you recently lost an anchor uh, like within a couple days ago just hit me up I'll return it and uh, it looks like somebody there's no rope attached to it but there's also a missing link right there on the top where somebody might have tied some rope to it it just came off it's pretty unfortunate somebody he's probably like 20 25 bucks but yeah pretty cool find well guys that's gonna be it for the river treasure portion of this video but stay tuned because we are about to go hop on the river treasure boards the river treasure boards we're about to go hop on the river boards do a little bit of river boarding me jake and tristan are going to meet up the water is scheduled to rise right now so maybe it's a couple minutes late who knows either way i'm gonna pack all this up and we're gonna get out on the water if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you leave it a big old thumbs up i always enjoy coming out here and doing river treasure videos for you guys also if you enjoy the river board section of this video let me know in the comment section below i think it's gonna be pretty dope that's pretty much it i will see you guys on the river board right now